Why do people gravitate toward you? I think people gravitate towards me because I'm myself. Um, I'm original. So, so it's, it's, it's a lot of people in the world that are doing the same thing. A lot of people are doing, um, yeah, it's, it, the world is really saturated with the same thing and everybody wants to do the same thing. But I feel like I'm a breath of fresh air and um, what I do as far as, you know, s you know being a dancer and um, being goofy, like, I think I'm, you know, uh, scarce, to say the least. But, yeah, I'm most likely myself, just myself. When it comes to being original, being yourself, were you always like that or did it take time to get like that? Oh, it definitely took time. I, um, in high school, I was a completely different person, super shy, super timid. I still have those attributes, but um, I really started to mature after high school, stopped really caring about what people thought. Um, yeah. And with some of these attributes that you mentioned, where do you think that stuff stems from? Shy, timid, um, those type of characteristics. I just think I just think it just comes from just my my parents or just how they are. They were, uh, yeah. I just think it's, it's in my DNA to be that way. But you know, I'm a late bloomer, so my my dad was a late bloomer as well. Um, so I guess when I, I reached a certain point, I just said I don't really care anymore. So. Now, at this point, what is your age? 24. You said you're a late bloomer, and I don't, that could be a very uh, generic description, but if you're 24 now, do you feel like you're a different age at this point? On paper, you're 24. Yeah. Do you feel like you're 24, or do you feel like, I don't know, 18 or a different age? No, I feel, I feel my age. Okay. I feel like everything's happening the, the way it's supposed to be happening. I do feel like I've aged really fast in the past couple of months, but. I feel 24. And for time reference, it's March 2021. Now, when it comes to this, all right, at this point, what is the biggest misconception of you? What's a viewer opinion that is incorrect people have about June? Uh, that I'm always happy. I'm always like, you know, happy-go-lucky guy. I mean, I think that's just, you know, the, the image I give off on social media for others. You know, for you know, for people to pick up their phone, they're having a bad day. They can see me, and I brighten up their day. But I'm human. You know, I have my days where I'm low. I have my days where I'm tired. I have my days where I don't want to be happy. So I think that's the biggest misconception that I'm always this guy. That's you know, it's not it's, it's not true. And uh, you actually caught me by surprise because this is my first time meeting you. And off camera, when I came to the lobby to grab you to come upstairs to the interview room, uh, you weren't with the smile and the happiness. <laughs> so I, I asked you, are you tired? And you said no. And I don't know, that kind of, I was expecting the happy, smiley June as well. Yeah. So the one on camera right now is what I was expecting. But <laughs> yeah, so I guess I fell into that misconception as well, right? Guilty as charged. Yeah. Uh, but uh, when it comes to that, have you lost or gained opportunities because of that misconception? People thinking you're happy all the time. People think you're smiling all the time. That sort of thing. No, I haven't lost. I don't, I, no, I don't think I've lost at all. It's all been gained because you know I'm very consistent with what I do on online. So, you know, it's great that people really think that I'm this way because, you know, it only opens up the opportunities for me to you know really display my personality and whatnot. And uh, just on a regular 24 hours, okay? Uh, how often? If we had a pie chart, 100%, are you happy? Are you smiling? Uh, or is this just a character online that we see? <laughs> no, I, I'm a pretty like happy, content guy. Um, there's not really much that really gets me down, you know? Um, I would say like, you know, 80% of the time I'm happy unless I have to do something strenuous where like 20% of the time I'm like tired. But like other than that, you know, I'm joy, I, I would say I'm joyful. Like I have joy, like happy is just like a temporary thing. I feel, I feel like I'm joyous, you know, you know, I don't really have any things that are bring me down like that.